come from Bethlehem. Micah chapter 5 and verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth are from of old, from everlasting. Here is another amazing prophecy foretelling the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Micah, the prophet, you know, uh, maybe not as famous or well-known as some of the other major prophets, call him a minor prophet, but he gives us such an amazing prophecy concerning Jesus Christ. He says, Bethlehem, he pinpoints the name of the town, Bethlehem, out of you is going to come forth someone. So he says, Bethlehem, you're the very small town in all of Judah. Out of you will come forth someone who is going to be the ruler in Israel. Out of that little town comes the king. But there's something about this king, Micah points out. He says, this king has already been there from before. I mean, this is not a king who's just showing up, but he's a king who's been there from time past, from eternity past. And this eternal king is going to come out of you, Bethlehem, the ruler who, ha who has been of old. He talks, so uh, Micah points the town where uh, Jesus was born, Bethlehem. He points to who he is going to be, king, ruler. He also points to his eternal aspect. He's been there from everlasting. Significant prophecy. Very powerful. When we come into the New Testament, we see the literal fulfillment in Matthew chapter 2, that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. And people come looking for him. Where is this the king of the Jews? There is supposed to be this ruler who's been born. Where is this king? And Jesus fulfilled Micah's prophecy. Now, of course, we know Jesus will come back. He's coming back to be ruler. Uh, and, and he's going to rule over uh, the nations. But we see the fulfillment of him being literally born out of Bethlehem. Powerful prophecy pointing to the coming of Jesus Christ. Who could ever miss it? Who could ever miss the, the significance of Christ's birth in that little town of Bethlehem? God chose it. God announced it. And God fulfilled it. It happened just like he said. According to the word of the prophet, so it was fulfilled. And we stand in awe of our God who declares the end from the beginning, who speaks and what he speaks comes to pass. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We honor you as the ruler, as the king, as the one who is from of old, from everlasting, from eternity. We worship you, Jesus. And God, we honor you that you would speak in such a way and each of these prophecies would be fulfilled literally. You are God and you speak and declare and what you declare is fulfilled. Thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.